Hello Capricorn, welcome to the beach and welcome to your summer reading. Let's see what's waiting you in the summer of 2020. Mm, a lot of stuff is waiting you, you see that? <laughs> okay, we will start with tarot cards and then we move on to the oracles. Mm, we start with Nine of Swords, with you worrying about something, having anxiety about something. And you've kind of done with this anxiety and fear and you want to do something about it. And you want to do something about it and you are ready to do it and you are ready to... You are ready for a challenge. Yeah, you are marching ahead. And the challenge might... Mm, so you want to invest into something. Your energy, your time. Uh, you want some sort of problems. I feel like it's about the money issues. You don't want to feel any more anxiety and stress and worry about money. And you're ready to invest your time and your energy. And you are thinking it. Thinking it through how it's gonna go down. How it's going to be... How you gonna do, how you gonna go about it. With this King of Pentacles, you are planning some, some long-term shifts and changes. Yeah, you're moving on to some long-term stability. You are ready now to get rid of your fears, get rid of your anxiety, get rid of whatever was holding you back. And you're doing it in a very slow and practical way. As I see so far. Yeah, four of pentacles reversed. So you want to have more money. And you need to look into how to also simplify your life. To not overspend. To not give away where it's not necessary. Uh, to be a bit more traditional about where your money is going. And even the way that you're going to do it, because, you know, here you planning it out. This is going to be some, some sort of old-fashioned, some sort of traditional uh, two feet on the ground kind of way. It's not going to be investing in bitcoins and doing it that way. It's going to be like... Or through hard work or through saving money on the side. This is not going to be anything innovative. It's going to be like stable, grounded kind of way. How you're going to go about this. Then we have some... Whoa! Then we have some, probably some summer romance. Summer hot love. <laughs> and wow... Uh, even if it's not about love, which it, it for some of you it is about love, for some of you it is about something else, but it's you winning and you getting this stability and aligning all those thoughts and plans, they come together very well and this is a very good card when you want to go ahead with something. And especially with the sun right next to it, it's this is victory. And when you release all your ideas into the action, you get your victory. First, you need to align them, yeah, and you are going to align them, and they're gonna be, you know, what I mean by aligning your ideas and thoughts and all this that was clashing before now they come like this and they work hand in hand and now you know how to launch your ideas forward and how to do it and you get some sort of victory and satisfaction but there might be some delays or there might be some hmm that's interesting there might be some delays or being stuck in a rut, but with this one, 
to come in reverse, which he now looks like the right position, right? This card is usually like this, and it means being stuck. So I guess with these two, you are getting rid of this stuckness, of this rot. It might need a little time, but it's gonna go. And here you are standing, looking at the future, planning it out. Ready, ready to move, but just waiting for the right time to move. You also, I feel like you're gonna be creating very beautiful memories. You might go on a vacation or something. <laughs> this summer you're going to be creating beautiful memories. And with the six of pentacles in reverse and the page of swords and the kids, this might be like you are now trying to save a bit of coin. You're not wasting it just like that. You're not throwing it out in the world just like that. Mm. Some kids might not agree with you. Maybe your son, he might be spiteful. I need money, mama. <laughs> but you need to tell him. Like, no, no, go, go out in the world, get it for yourself. I'm no longer your uh, provider or I am um, no longer give for nothing. Now I kind of give to myself and use the money the way it should be used. Or you had some people that you've been helping and they didn't give you money back. And now you, you're trying to get it back and they don't like it, they don't want to give it. Or just some people not being happy with whatever new you are trying to do. You might get some bad reactions on whatever you are trying to do. But you know, you, why should you even care, right? Let them react however they want. I think you have it figured out. If they like it or not. Intention. Focus your energy. There's an incredible force in a strong intention. So, sorry. <clears throat> your intention, when you decide what to do, you charge forward, right? Like with this chariot. I call it carriage sometimes. You charge forward into the victory and you don't let anyone sway you down left and right okay go like this and do not let anyone to blah blah on the side or try to stop you or try to delay you just focus on yourself and oh let your friends help you yeah there is some love message <laughs> No, oh, so you are trying to get self-employed. Okay, you're exploring your options with this one. You're exploring how to get self-employed so that you could have abundance. So that you could have some long-term stability. And this is happening very soon. But there is also a honeymoon, like enjoy the sweetness of going away together. So I guess use this summer vacation to relax because after that you are charging, you're going into it. And let your friends help you, whoever knows their stuff, like let them be around if they are, if you know that they are good for you, of course. Then you have forgive yourself leave away old blame and remember you are a child of God. If people are trying to manipulate you by um, imposing blame on you, see through them. Maybe they would, you know, when people try to make you feel guilty so that they could get stuff out of you and maybe they sense that you do feel guilty about something and then they just touching that point, you know, touching that button to get you to do what they want you to do. 
by pushing that button. This this kind of page of sorts would know how to do these things. So take care. But there is a treasure chest awaiting you. An enormous, unexpected happiness is coming towards you. Your pleads for financial, um, how do you say this? Support, they have been heard and the help is coming and it's coming in a beautiful, unexpected way. So there is abundance waiting you. Music, maybe you're trying to create some music. Hmm? Are you trying to work in the music industry? Whatever it is, it, it has to do something with listening to something or singing or talking or some sort of audio expression. Or there's going to be some messages for you in songs that you can listen to and it's going to remind you of something. Yeah, so pay attention to the songs you hear on the radio or whatever you listen. Hmm, grandparents. Maybe there's going to be grandparents trying to help you on your way. Because you're gonna be... You see this high priest or the hierophant. This can also be some figure in your life that is very experienced and very traditional. Maybe this guy, uh, maybe it's your grandfather that is, or grandmother, that is assisting you in this change, in this endeavor that you're trying to do. Good day and goodbye. There is a change coming your way and there is going to make things for the better in your life and the answer that you seek is love mm, that that we all want to hear that <laughs> yeah do whatever you do do it with love even if it's tough love for some people right maybe you maybe you want to create this stability because you need you need love it's not really the emo uh, the financial stability that you're looking for but it was love it was emotional stability that you actually want you think that through money it might come but you know it's always good if you want to if you want stability in your life no matter what kind this 444, four, four, yeah. You're being very determined, very focused, working on this. And 444 four, four is also about long term stuff. The net weaver. Synchronicities, time, time lapsing, divine intelligence, cause and effect. And the mirror princess and the garden of Gaia. This is like. Um, what you saw is what you... What's that? I don't know. Comment me down how you say that. What What you saw is what you saw. <laughs> what you... It means like whatever you work on, it will bring you the harvest. Harvesting what you saw. Yeah, if you saw good things, if you... Do a lot of good work, a lot of things come your way. Good things. If you do bad, you bad things come your way. But this one is abundance card. You're gonna have a lot of abundance. Especially with that sun card. Okay. Because you're working good, you get good. Let's see these two cards from the book. What they have to tell us. Number four and number forty-four, the net viewer. So yeah, it's saying that whatever you are creating is good for a lot of people around you, and you are sharing, and 
um, you are breathing this co-creative net. You're not thinking only about yourself here. You are a giver, you are uh, generous. That's why some people might try to use you. But it's time you are being generous in the right way, you don't care anymore. So the, you, the people that think I like will come your way. Because you're not alone in this. You're not alone in this, right? And it says like, ask your friends to help. There are people who think the same. So not the ones that backlash on you, but the ones who agree with you, take them along on your journey, because you can co-create beautiful things. Yeah, it all comes together like magic. And through the net, you hear the sound of music that is in harmony with yours. Hmm. This is a sign that tells you that you can trust your inner interconnection and the connection of the synchronicities. You can expect miracles. Wow, beautiful things are ahead for you, my dear Capricorn. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore, right? We can toss that fear. Fears can go away. Because there's only good things coming. And those minor setbacks, don't, don't even worry about them. Let's see what this one has to say. Are you going to be making beautiful music? Oh, she is at the same time, she is a challenger and an ally. It makes you take a look at yourself in the mirror and your life. Look at the things that are happening, the experiences. The law of attraction is very significant this time. You attract what you are. So it doesn't mean you have to accuse yourself of anything. If you attract some bad people and bad stuff, because some some things you just cannot right control. It's not about what what you attract; is how you deal with it. That sometimes it's testing you. Yeah, don't judge the events that happen, but try to know how to deal in the moment with this. Try to know when to grasp an opportunity, when to step back, when to move forward. As, and if there is some failure that you think it's failure, mm, don't take it as failure because it's not, this is not, later it's going to look as actually winning. So don't judge what is. Just accept it and respect every part of your life story. And this is just a part of you evolving. It's a part of your evolution. You are exactly at the ri right place on your path. You're exactly where you need to be right now. Yeah. So it just basically asks you... Don't judge the stuff that is happening, accept them, go with the flow. Yeah, this guy goes with the flow. Because there's good things coming your way, it might be a bit of a setback or in the first glance, not as good as you think, but don't worry. Just have a bit of patience and a bit of trust in what's going to happen, okay? And that concludes it, wow! So we kept it under 20 minutes, this is great. I just need to tell you uh, that you, if you need more messages, check your moon and rising, or sun, if you've been checking <laughs> some others, 
Uh, and also for the single people I'm preparing after the horoscopes, we will be trying to manifest our love in the light and we will be taking a look at our future relationships, okay? Stay tuned, subscribe here. Thank you Capricorn, bye bye.